Hello friends, welcome to the part 5 of crude operations and AngularJS. Now till part 4 we have completed the crude functionality and in this part we are going to just improve the CSS and styling of whatever we have created till part 4. Now we are going to use simple classes of bootstrap and in order to use bootstrap we have to download it first so we have to go to google type bootstrap so the first site comes as the official site that is getbootstrap.com so go to that there's a download bootstrap button click on that and then you can use the first button to download the minified css and javascript and font files but we are only concerned with css files so we'll use them so let me close this browser now I have the files with me, I have already downloaded it, so I have included it in my folder as well. So I just have to include that folder. So I will include that folder in project. So I have named that project as CSS and this is my bootstrap.css file. Now in order to use this on multiple or all the pages, I have to specify this in my main page. So in this main page, we basically render all our partials inside this placeholder created by ngview. So if we refer this bootstrap in our main page, it will be referred for all the partials. All right, so let's run our main page in the browser. So this is our main page, how it looks like. Now we are going to start with the add form. So let's go to our add form. So it looks like this after adding the bootstraps.css. Now we are going to improve its UI. So let's start. So this is the add.html. Now the bootstrap class or the form classes works well with the div control instead of tabular structure. So let's get rid of this table for now. So I'll comment this table. We'll remove this afterwards. So let's have a simple div. And inside this div, I'm going to have a label. And I will, I will create this label for my first property that is player dot name and then we'll have input type text for our label all right and then we are going to apply a class that is form group all right so this will apply css for this group and then we are going to apply a class to my control that is form control which will improve css of my text box similarly we'll have this kind of divs for my four controls so my four control is club so let me update all the properties and attributes similarly we'll have it for country Finally, for age, all right, and then we'll have a final dev for our button that is submit button. So, let me copy that from the commented code and we'll replace this by our button, and we will get rid of this tablet structure. Now if I see my view by refreshing it you can see there are some changes but the form looks like having a quite lot of width so we are going to restrict that. So let's have a div for this entire HTML so we will enclose it in a div structure everything and then we will have few properties here so we will use style and we will have some margin at the left using margin left let it be let it be 30 pixels and we will have this div to be uh, let's say 400 pixels so that the enclosed form inside will have the same width so you can see now it looks much better let me reduce it to 300 so it will be yeah you can see now it looks very much better now we are going to improve this submit button so before that we can also have a class at form level so you can see there are multiple classes so you can apply various classes and explore yourself 
which class does what so there are two classes that is form group small so this will create small control for us similarly there is large as well which will create larger controls you can see so for this we are going to have small controls now moving to the button so we have various options for button so let's have a primary button for us we will say let's have success button for us success button or what we have so there are button danger button primary yeah there is a success button so which will be rendered in a green color you can see and we need to also specify btn class so there are two classes to specify one is the button and then button success so you can see button looks like this so ui has been improved quite a lot similarly we have a back to main link we'll have a primary button here so we will say class btn and then btn primary all right so it looks like this now the same form we have same structure uh, in the update form as well so we will copy this entire form we'll go to edit player we'll remove this entire form from here and we'll paste our newly updated form we just have to modify some fields here so we want to post it to update player and our form name is update player form similarly here as well i'm going to update and our button text is update so we will move to our edit page so let's edit the first record so it looks like similar to what we have earlier or what similar to add pair modified add pair we just have to enclose it in a div and we will apply similar settings here as well so let's have style applied to this we will have a margin left in this case as well let it be 30 pixel and width to be will exactly look like a add player which we have done just before and let's have a class for our main link as well we are done with the edit player as well we will go to main page now we will improve the styling of this page as well so let let's go to player list.html let's have this page as well enclose in a div structure all right and to the div also we will apply the same same style that is let's have a margin left of 30 pixel and width to be 500 pixel let's give some more width because we have grid like structure here now in order to uh, for this link we are going to use class button primary and for the table we have various classes but we will use can see it is shown in a grid like structure so there is one more class that is table so we have to specify both the classes table and table bordered so you can see it has rendered in a very good tabular structure so let's go to add player and add few more players you can see it highlights the control as well let's submit the form let's go back to our main page so you can see it looks very much better than the application we have in the first page or in the part 4 so this is how you can use bootstrap to improve your style of the application 
so you can explore more classes in bootstrap and have it in your own way thank you friends